welcome to quick learn tutorial series in this video i will explain you 8 to 8 4 clock generator its logic diagram working and interfacing with 8086 microprocessor so first i introduce 8 to 8 4 clock generator 8 to 8 4 clock generator is basically an ic developed by intel corporation 8284 clock generator basically generate a clock signal for 8086 or 8088 microprocessor and other peripheral devices. 8284 is an important component of 8086 or 8088 microprocessor because it generate clock signals for both the microprocessor. Without clock generator, it means 8084, it required many additional component to generate the clock in an 8086 or 8088 based microprocessor system. The basic function of 8284 clock generators are it generate clock or timing signal for 8086 or 8088 microprocessor. It produce reset synchronization signal, ready synchronization signal, TTL level peripheral clock signal which are very essential and important signal for 8086 microprocessor. Now features of 8284 clock generator. As I have already told, 8284 clock generator produce stable clock signal for 8086 or 8088 microprocessor and other peripheral devices. Alone with the clock signal, it also generates some ready or reset signal for 8086 or 8088 processor. 8284 clock generator available in 18 pin DIP IC, it means dual inline package. 8284 operate in plus 5 volt power supply. It can use external crystal or TTL external signal as frequency source. 8284 is capable of clock synchronization with other 8284 chip. 8284 generate the system reset output. It provides synchronization between local ready and microprocessor ready. These are the some features of 8284 clock generator. Now the logic circuit and working of 8284 clock generator. This is the logic diagram of 8284 clock generator. As I have already told, 8284 clock generator generates some important signal just like reset signal, oscillator signal, peripheral clock signal, clock signals and ready signals for 8086 or 8088 microprocessor or other peripheral devices. So, the logic diagram is divided into three sections. The first is reset section, clock section and the ready section. Here I discuss all the section in detail one by one. First is reset section. Reset section produces reset synchronization signal at its output. It basically composes of two components, the Smith ticker and D-type flip-flop. The function of D-type flip-flop is to ensure the timing requirement of 8086 reset. The reset section produces a reset output. This reset signal is applied to the microprocessor on negative edge of each clock cycle. And 8086 microprocessor sample this reset signal at each positive edge of the clock cycle. Now the second is clock section. The clock section basically produces Three output signal, oscillator output signal, peripheral clock signal and the clock signal. It consists of number of components, external crystal oscillator, 2 ratio 1 multiplexer divided by 3 counter divided by 2 counter and the inverting buffer. The crystal oscillator present in this section generate a square wave signal at its output. When the crystal is attached between the two input pins x1 or x2, from x1, x2, here we connect the external 15 megahertz crystal. So the crystal oscillator produces a square wave whose frequency is equal to the frequency of the external crystal. This square wave output signal is simultaneously feed into the inverter and the end gate of 2 ratio 1 multiplexer. This inverter produce oscillator signal at its output. This oscillator signal is sometimes used as a EFI, external frequency input signal to other 8284 clock generator in a system. The output of the oscillator is given to the 
एंड गेट ऑफ टू रेशियो वन मल्टीप्लेक्स पर तो दिस आउटपुट इज गिवन टू द डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री काउंटर और ये एक्सटर्नल फ्रिक्वेंसी इनपुट इज गिवन टू द डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री काउंटर इज सेलेक्ट बाई द एफ ऑब्लिक सी इनपुट पिन द फंक्शन ऑफ द एफ ऑब्लिक सी इनपुट पिन इज टू चूज द फ्रिक्वेंसी सोर्स ऑफ एट टू एट फोर क्लॉक जनरेटर If this f oblique c pin is high, it means it is logical one. A external frequency input signal is given to the divided by c counter. If this f oblique c is low, it means logical zero. The square wave produced by a crystal oscillator is feed into the divided by c counter. Now the output of the divided by c counter is given to the D type flip flop of ready section. that provide timing for ready synchronization the output of the divided by 3 counter is also given to the divided by 2 counter that generate a pclk it means peripheral clock signal at its output which is given to the peripheral devices having low frequency requirement just like 8254 and the output of divided by 3 counter is given as a clock signal to the 8086 microprocessor so this is the function of clock section now the third section is ready section ready section generate ready synchronization signal this ready signal gives give information regarding whether the processor is ready for operation or not if the ready signal is low then this show the wait status of the processor this ready section take its timing synchronization from divided by 3 counter of the clock section so this is the working of logic diagram of 8284 clock generator now interfacing of 8284 clock generator with 8086 microprocessor here i explain how we interface 8086 with 8284 clock generator this is 8284 clock generator this is 8086 microprocessor the clock signal generated by 8284 is given directly to the 8086 microprocessor which is 5 megahertz the reset signal is directly given to 8086 microprocessor the peripheral clock signal is given to those device the device having low frequency requirement just like 8254 x1 x2 is the input pin of internal crystal oscillator which is connected to a external 15 megahertz crystal here we see f oblique c it means frequency oblique crystal or clock synchronization pin are grounded to select external crystal this is the description of interfacing of 8284 with 8086 microprocessor